In this video, we are going to discuss about worms that can affect our computer system. As you can see, this is our computer system and there are worms inside. So let's see what type of worms are there inside our computer. Well, they are autonomous programs that are sent by the attacker. So worms inside our computer systems are actually programs that have been sent to infect our system by replicating itself. So again, there is one small program, one worm, which can make multiple copies of itself. So what is the difference between a virus and a worm? Because we have learned earlier that virus also replicates itself. The virus affects a standalone system, but a worm will always infect a multitasking system connected to a network. So if your system is connected to a network, only then can it be infected by the worm. Now let's see what all harm the worm can cause. It will access and relay back passwords stored on the system. It will interrupt the functioning of the operating system. So your system will be very delayed. You are trying to open any software and it will never open. It will disrupt the services provided by the system. So if your system is a server of any function on the network, then you will not be able to provide those services to the other client machines. It installs viruses or Trojan horses on your system. Now we have discussed virus and Trojan horses previously, but those are affecting only the st standalone systems. But these worms, they are affecting the networked systems and they do double the harm by installing those viruses or Trojan horse on our system. So in this video, we have understood what are worms and how they can harm our system if it is connected to the network. In the next video, we are going to discuss about spamming.